said that he burned part of Rome because he wanted to build build bigger home for himself. He was so wicked, so oppressive, especially towards Christians, that he burned Christians as human torches to light his garden. That's Nero. And it's at that time Paul is writing. Be subject to governing authorities. God himself has instituted governmental authority. God is the ultimate authority and he has created authority structures in various aspects of life. The very basic authority structure is the family where the husband is the head of the house. You have authority structures like the government. You have uh, 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 like the church. You have authority structures instituted by God like the workplace. You have your boss, your managers, your superiors, and uh, as well as the government. So all authority structures have been put in place by God with this intent that ultimately the person at the top directly submits to God and therefore becomes a channel of God's authority being dispersed through that authority structure. If it is in some other authority structure, whether it's in government and so on, and they're abusive, they're misusing their position, they're doing wicked, uh, they are uh, you know, persecuting God's people and so on. How does God see it? The Bible says this very clearly, and I'll quote just one verse in Proverbs 17, verse 15. He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns condemns the just, both of them alike are an abomination to God. God is watching and God isn't happy. Other things that Paul mentions here is he calls three times, he calls governing authorities, people in authority as ministers of God. Very interesting is the same Greek word deacon that is used to people who serve in church. Romans 14 verse 1. Receive one who is weak in the faith but not to disputes over doubtful things. So he says, be very welcoming to somebody who's weak in the faith. Weak in the faith meaning somebody who's new to the faith. Right? Somebody's new to the faith. They're not yet grounded. They don't know all the Christian needs that we use. Uh, uh, they don't know all that. This is just new to the faith. So he says, you welcome, be very welcoming to such a person, but don't welcome him and start arguing with him about doubtful things. Right? Understand the person. And then he begins to explain a little further. He says, for one believes he may eat all things. That's most of us here. <laughs> but he who is weak eats only vegetables. I mean, that's his preference. Let him, let not him who eats despise him who does not eat. And let not him who does not eat judge him who eats. For God has received him. In other words, you know, one person likes every, all kinds of food. One person has certain preferences. You know, don't think you're better than the other or don't look down on the other because of their preference. God has received both of us equally. This whole issue of eating may not be so relevant. I mean, I'm trying, you know, uh, uh, irrelevant in our context. Uh, if you run into a situation where it is, then remember what Paul instructed us in Romans 14, that in the presence of somebody who may be offended because of your food, who may be caused to stumble, or who may become weak, then you hold back. People in authority are eventually accountable to God. God sees it. He's going to step in. Also, we understand that the Bible teaches us that the people of the land will get the government they deserve. So, for instance, Proverbs 28 and verse 2 says, Because of the transgression of a land, many are its princes. That means if the land is full of evil and wickedness, they're going to have a huge turnover in the government. They're going to keep on changing. It's an unstable government. Unst there's going to be instability in their leadership. Many are its rulers. Why? Because of the transgressions of the land, the people. So people are not doing right. People are doing unrighteous. You're going to see that uh, uh, the result of that, even the kind of government, the kind of leadership that is over that nation. You're going to have people uh, coming in and out of power. Uh, there's, the government is not going to be stable. The people are going to get the government that they deserve. So the transgression, the sin of the people has an effect on the kind of persons uh, that come into place or places of power.